Most people think you need carbs to survive. Bread, rice, pasta, we are told they are the foundation of every diet. But here's the truth, carbs are not essential for human life. Your body can run perfectly fine without them, all thanks to an incredible system called ketosis. Let's break it down. Hey friends, welcome back. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Dushant. I work in London as an exercise physiologist, a personal trainer and a nutritionist, and have been working as a health and fitness professional for almost a decade now. Today, we are talking about one of the biggest nutrition debates. Do you really need carbs? By the end of this video, you'll understand why carbs are optional, how your body runs beautifully on fat and ketones, and why even athletes don't need carbs to perform at their best. Let's start with the biggest myth in nutrition. Your body needs carbs to survive. This is simply not true. Carbs give you energy. They provide four kilocalories per gram. And because they are quick fuel, most dietary guidelines push them as the base of the food pyramid. But here's the secret. There is no essential carbohydrates. Your body needs essential amino acids from protein. It needs essential fatty acids from fat, but there is no such thing as an essential carbohydrates. You can cut carbs tomorrow and you wouldn't just collapse because your body is smarter than you think. So what happens when you don't eat carbs? How does your body keep running? It uses a process called gluconeogenesis. Don't worry about the big word. It simply means your body can make its own glucose. From protein and fat, your body makes just enough glucose to fuel the few cells that need it. But that's not all. When carbs are low, your liver makes something even better, ketones. Ketones are clean, efficient fuel. Your brain, your muscles, even your heart, they all thrive on ketones. This is not theory. Whole population lived this way. The traditional Inuit people, for example, ate almost no carbs at all. Yet they lived, worked, and thrived in some of the hardest environments on earth. Your body is designed for this. Now, let's talk about ketosis. In ketosis, your body switches fuel. Instead of burning sugar, it burns fat. And fat is far more powerful energy source. Here's why. Carbs give you four kilocalories per gram and fat gives you nine kilocalories per gram. That means fat gives you more than double the energy. Think about it like this. Carbs are like lighter fluid. They burn fast and disappear quickly. Fat and ketones, they are like slow burning logs. They give you steady energy for hours. No crashes, no sugar highs. This is why people on ketogenic diets often say their focus is sharper, their hunger is lower, their energy is stable all day. And here's something interesting. Your brain actually runs more efficiently on ketones than on glucose. Ketones produce fewer free radicals and less oxidative stress compared to carbs. That means cleaner energy and possibly better long-term brain health. Now, let's get clear about carbs and health. We have been told for decades that carbs should be the base of a diet. But what happened? Obesity skyrocketed. Type 2 diabetes became an epidemic and heart disease remains the number one killer. Refined carbs like bread, pasta and cereals and sugar cause sharp spikes in blood sugar and insulin. Over time, this leads to insulin resistance, which is the root cause of so many modern diseases. Some studies even show that people on long-term low-carb diets live healthier lives with lower risk of metabolic disease as long as their diet is balanced with proper nutrition. On the other hand, very high carb diets, especially when made of processed foods, are strongly linked with inflammation, obesity, diabetes, and even certain cancers. The truth is simple. Carbs are not only unnecessary, for many they are harmful. Now, let's talk about the big question, but don't athletes need carbs? This is where people get confused. For decades, athletes were told to carb load before big events. The idea was simple. Fill your muscles with glycogen so you can push harder. But here's the problem. Glycogen runs out quickly. That's why marathon runners hit the famous wall after about 20 miles. When your body depends on carbs, your fuel tank is small. But when you're fat adapted, in ketosis, your fuel tank is almost unlimited. Even lean athletes has tens of thousands of calories stored in fat. Newer research shows that athletes on ketogenic diet burn fat more efficiently, avoid energy crashes, and recover just as well, if not better. In fact, endurance athletes often perform better when fueled by ketones because their body doesn't run out of fuel mid-race. And even for strength athletes, once they adapt, performance level can be just as strong without carbs. Some even argue recovery and mental clarity improve. So no, athletes don't need carbs. They may choose them, but they are not essential. So let's step back. Do you need carbs to survive? No. Your body is perfectly designed to live, work, and thrive on fat. 
and ketones. Carbs can be tolerated by some people, but they are not required. And for many, cutting carbs can even improve your health, sharper your focus, and you can have longer lasting energy. This doesn't mean everyone needs to constrict keto, but it does mean you should question the old belief that carbs are the foundation of health. They're not. Now, I wanna hear from you. Have you ever tried low carb or ketogenic diet? Did you notice more energy, more focus, or did you struggle? Drop your experience in the comments. And if this video gave you a new perspective, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who still thinks carbs are a Thanks for watching, keep pushing, and don't quit. See you in the next one.